Eukaryotic cells are the building blocks of all multicellular organisms, from plants to animals to humans. We're all made of the same basic structure, this one cell. But how can multicellular organisms made from the same basic cell look so different from each other? Well, variable amounts of different structures within each cell is what makes each one different. It's what differentiates muscle cells from those that can detect colour in the eye. The function of the cell defines its structure. Remember, form follows function. Today we're going to go back to basics by exploring the eukaryotic cell. So how is it that the tissues and the cells making various organs can look so different and yet all be made from the same eukaryotic cells? Much of the secret lies in the structures within the cell, known as organelles. They may appear in different combinations and quantities, but all the cells in eukaryotes draw from the same pool of cellular components. And that's what we're looking at today. Within humans, there's a large degree of variation seen in the eukaryotic cell. We already know that there are four classifications of tissues, epithelia, nervous cells, muscle cells, and connective cells. All of these cells are eukaryotic, but each have a different structure based on their function, and even within these classifications, there exist many different specialisations. Eukaryotic cells of many different appearances and functions can come together to form tissues, which then combine to form organs. It's when all of these organs work together that we're able to maintain homeostasis, which means preserving the internal environment of the body at a constant functional state. But the maintenance of homeostasis is very much dependent on each of these individual eukaryotic cells doing their job correctly. So during this tutorial, we'll look at the common features of a generic eukaryotic cell. We'll look at the plasma membrane surrounding the cell and the fluid within it, which is called cytoplasm. We'll also have a look at the organisation and appearance of cell organelles like the mitochondria, the endoplasmic reticulum, and digestive organelles known as lysosomes. We'll then delve into the nucleus to see what's enclosed within the nuclear envelope and appreciate the cytoskeletal structure that provides support and holds the cell together. OK, let's get started with the outermost structure, the plasma membrane. All eukaryotic cells contain a plasma membrane, enclosing the cytoplasm and the nucleus, with the exception of red blood cells, which are anucleate. This cell membrane forms an important barrier between the internal and external environments. The plasma membrane is made of a phospholipid bilayer, with two layers of hydrophilic phosphate heads facing externally, and attached to each of these heads, hydrophilic lipid bodies, projecting internally between the heads. The unique composition of this membrane means it is selectively permeable, an important feature in maintaining the internal and external environments of the cell. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.